thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing uh, Shogs and I in Corona in the summer here. And I was analyzing Shogs' swing. And uh, what we were trying to do was is get his swing more on an inside to square swing path on the downswing, as well as being more relaxed at setup. As you can see here, Shogs is a little bit uh, tight in his upper body, being that he's a little bigger up there as well. But uh, I put the line on the screen here so that you can see what we've worked on position two. He's standing a little far away from the ball. I'd still rather see him get a little closer to the ball. But as you see, as he comes into position two now, we'll start going. That's a much better position. The club head is pointing directly up. The shaft is pretty much in line with his feet. And he used to be way outside of that, almost where the blue line is. And now he's right in line with his feet, toe up. And then as he comes into position three, pretty good. It's right on plane. The club crosses his bicep. Club head's in a good position. He's staying uh, steady with his head, rotating his shoulders. As he gets to the top at position four, I, t I don't want him to over rotate. You don't need to get the club to parallel. The shaft and the club head is in a really good position. Maybe at a 45 degree point to the sky. He hasn't over rotated now. He's at his right hip open. Now on the downswing, he used to come over the blue line on his downswing and he'd attack the ball on an outside in swing plane. Now Shogs is coming from the inside so he can work underneath the ball and release his hands, which he has really quick hands coming into the ball. As you see here, now he's back on the line. He's not over the top of the line. Over the top of the line would be like this, if his shaft was like right here with the white line. And then he'd come out that way. But now he's coming down, swinging in this way to the ball. Okay, so as he comes down in, he releases the club, and you can see that he's got good extension, and his right hand's releasing the club head, and then he turns all the way through. It's the first time Shogs ever hooked the ball. So this is a lot better than he did before. I'd still like to see a lot less weight on his right foot so that I can see his whole right toe as he comes up, but way better.